Marriage in Islam is seen as a garment, a libas, that no Muslim can do without. Allah Almighty, in beautiful words, said describing the institution of marriage, Hunna libasun lakum wa antum libasun lahun. They are a garment for you, meaning your wives, and you are a garment for them. Qatada, he said, describing what is meant by this, he said, Hunna sakanun lakum wa antum sakanun lahun. It means you are a tranquility for them, and they are a tranquility for you. And subhanallah, a libas, a garment, serves many purposes. Look at this beautiful Quranic tashbih, the analogy, the comparison made. How does clothes serve you? It covers your private parts. It conceals your nakedness. And that is the purpose of marriage as well. Husband and wife, they cover the deficiencies of one another. They cover the vulnerabilities of one another. They hide the secrets of one another. They strengthen one another. They don't expose one another. That's the purpose of a garment. Number two, a libas, a garment, shields you from the elements. Whether it's the scorching heat, whether it's the blistering cold, your clothes is a protection from the elements. And similarly, marriage is supposed to serve the exact same purpose, a protection from the elements of life. Number three, your clothes, your garments are the closest things to you. There is nothing closer to you at this second in time than what you are wearing, your outer and inner garments. And Allah said, your wives, your husbands, they are your garments. And so therefore we understand this element of mukhalata, mumazaja, al being near and close to your spouse. There shouldn't be these prolonged periods of separation because it's not the function of a garment to be far away from one who is wearing it. So this is the second reason why we're speaking about this topic because it is the most important garment that a believer can wear.